Hi guys, so today I'm going to try out the Spellbinders Celebrate um, card kit of the month uh, from July of 2019. This is something I picked up, um, not when they had that big sale because I'd already had it, but um, before that. So I, I'm not sure about the pricing right now, but if I have any links for this, it will be in the description box and you guys can check that out and decide for yourself, of course, as always. And uh, if you do use my affiliate links, of course, that means I will make a small commission if you purchase anything using those links. But I know a lot of you guys picked this up seeing that I had um, bought it you know, in the haul <laughs> whenever I showed that haul. So I want to try it out. So again, I had opened it real quick in the haul video, but... Um, so we have 10 cards, 10 envelopes, this cardstock, this set of 13 dies, paper pad, foam stickers, all that great stuff, stamp sets, gemstones, so we'll go through that. So my little dies are right here. And so in this one you can make your little mermaid. So that's some big hair. What's nice is that these pieces aren't super small. I'm sure when it gets to her facial features it's probably going to be very small, but um, it's a little piece of tail. Those arms, I think, separate. Uh, another piece of tail. Um, there's like a little... like scales if you want to put that on there, uh, which of course we'll have to. And then there's like little flowers, little, you know, little doody, doodle kind of things. <laughs> Did I say doody? <laughs> I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like little floral kind of things. Um, the pieces of the mermaid, they're all kind of in one uh, dye, which is good, but um, I might cut those things out in different colors. And these are the facial features, I have a feeling. There's a cute little shell separate there. Like, I think that probably matches up with this one, but it's like a little extra layer and little bubbles oh that's so cute how tiny are these and then they have like the little embossing feature on them and then like a little tag and that tag one's kind of interesting because this can be cut out for look like why is this this shape but at the same time i guess you would have a little thing that has like little cute things cut out from it you know what i'm saying that doesn't make a lot of sense i don't know how well i guess it's just something cute okay so card bases, um, we have the dimensional adhesive that I always say is really cool that they always include that, plus plenty of roll tape. Every month you're getting one of these, so it's like plenty of tape. Uh, I don't think I'll have to buy that ever again if I continue, um, obviously, getting the card kit. Um, the next month's one should be advertised soon, I suppose, because you're going to make your decision if you want to keep it or skip it. Hmm, I didn't think about that. Uh, die cut shapes that are really, really cute. So this will make a fun quick card. We have these cool gemstones that have the glitter kind of bust, built in. I was going to say busted in, but built in. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the Shellabrate stamp set, which again echoes a lot of the same things that are in the um, dies. Uh, some cute thick foam stickers. They're like solid foam. And then these guys are like chipboard. Kind of, no, these are foam. These are foam letter uh, words. Really cute though. Magic love. I don't know why I said though. Um, I guess I don't really work with foam a lot, but um, that's really cute. I like the style there. We got the paper, celebrate paper pad. Oh, it's so humid. It's only like 60 something degrees and it's so humid. Look at this. I love that. You know, we love everything mermaid. This is really cute. I think in one of the examples, I remember, oh yeah. They have that paper in this example here. Let me start from the back, it's easier to go backwards. What is that? Oh, that one makes my eyeballs hurt. <laughs> it's just like little marks, but I don't know why as soon as I looked at it. Ooh. So there's usually two sheets of each item or each page. So they go through, <laughs> it looks like checks. That's funny. What is this? I guess there's like little travel, I don't know. Um, tickets. Aww. Little birds. Just cute background. Little shells. Just like geometric designs. Oh, this one's pretty. I was wondering, they had this one here and I thought, oh, did they stamp that? But it's this one. That makes a really effective card. So cute. With all the little foil. Oh my gosh, the little <laughs> swans. Um... Just a bunch of words. Summer, freedom, friendship, good day, travel, sea. Oh, this is cute. And again, starts repeating. Um, so that's nice. And a lot of these pieces, they also sell separately. Now what I noticed, I think, yes, this one has silver paper, which again, I'm like, oh, I love their gold paper. And I went and bought it up, but I didn't realize they had the silver mirror paper. So, okay, like a teal color, or kind of sea, not teal, just lighter than that. Uh, kind of nice blue, periwinkle-ish almost, a peachy color. You got this awesome silver. We have white, yellow, 
like a seafoam color and some purple. So really cute array, kind of pastels, but more ocean related. We will see. Um, so these are all textured papers. Of course, I think you can cut out your mermaid from all these things, uh, the colors that are in here, I would assume. But um, I want to pick out like hair color and things that are different. So I don't know how much of this paper I'll be using. Well, let me put these things back over here. So let me grab some little papers so we'll construct a little mermaid and then put it together somehow. Okay, actually to get started, I decided I'm gonna use some of the paper that's in here. So I matted this or cut a mat at five and a quarter by four. And I'm gonna put the white paper. This is from the kit, so I don't know how this is gonna work. It may be a disaster. Okay, so this is piece of paper here is three and three quarters by five. And what I'm gonna do is play a little bit with, um, of course you can get the papers from your kit, right? You don't need to do any of this, but I've been dying to use these Jane Davenport um, mermaid markers. So I'm gonna try them out on this. And like I said, it might be not the best idea, but um, I've been eyeing these for a long time and they were a great price during that sale. I'm pretty sure they've gone up. I, again, will have the links, but obviously you can price these things out if you're interested in something like this. Um, okay, so, um, I want to go with the blues and greens, and I don't really know what colors these are, so I'm going to go with these three. It's like a deeper blue, kind of a tealish color. I haven't swatched these, obviously you just saw me open them right now. Um, oh, that probably means I have to get them going too. So I'm going to open this up, remove that. Do not remove this, um, at least not right now. Now, I, I believe these are probably refillable, because all you have to do is pull this thing out and put whatever you want in them, and then you still have a water brush. Um, that's supposedly how they work, because I know... Uh, Dan Reevely does the same thing with like the Tim Holtz water brushes, but you know, I don't know. So I'm gonna open that up. Again, as you screw this down, you hear a, I don't know. I was talking over it. <laughs> it's just the thing pokes into that area to get it going. This up here pokes right in there. There you go. So I have green and a tealish color and a blue. And again, this is just the paper that comes in here. I would normally do this on a thicker paper or watercolor paper, but I thought, well, we'll try it. I mean, it's there, um, you know, let's go. Um, and then I have this little guy still decorated with my cute little Arteza acrylic markers there, acrylic paint markers. And I kind of want to put a lot of water. So I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> I can see there's not some there and move it a little bit. I can see this thing's already reacting and let's get some color. So I just want to drop it on here because I wanted to make like a cool background. I'm squishing, I'm squeezing, it's not going. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't see anything happening. Should I, you know what? This tip is like super not broken down yet. So maybe that's, hmm. I'm going to keep squeezing. I don't see anything coming out. Did I do something wrong? Oh, there it is. All right. <laughs> yeah, so the tip was like completely uh, hard and crusty, so I probably have to do something about that for the other ones before we get started. And I just want this to drip. I mean, you can bring it here and touch down, but see, it's not doing exactly what I want yet. I can see the water is going through the paper, too. There, that's better. That's the kind of thing I want. I want it just to touch it and let it just go. Ooh, it's so pretty. Let me get the other ones ready and prepped, and then I'm going to have to work fast because this is already <laughs> uh, being funny. But I'm going to take this crustiness off of here, give them squeezes, and get them going. Okay, I'll be right back. already starting to go, but this one isn't quite ready, so I'm going to keep squeezing them. <laughs> there we go. Ah, yes, that's what I wanted. Big drips. It's kind of dry there. Oh, this color is so pretty. The green's really nice, but this, what's it called? Byron Bay, gorgeous. Let me put the lid back on the screen. And I really like this Byron Bay, so I'm gonna use a little bit more of it. And maybe bring back the blue. I'm gonna give it another squeeze of water. So I want this to be dry, obviously, by the time we get around to our other little mermaid outfit. I think I didn't put enough water there. Okay, I think that's good. I'm probably gonna spray a little more, maybe add a little more, and then I'm gonna hit it with a um, a heat tool, right? So that, ooh, I didn't really like, I, yeah, I've already told you guys I don't really like the running look, <laughs> but that, it wasn't bad. Okay, and I'm gonna hit it with a heat tool and let it dry up, and I'll come back and let you know, because this 
paper is super saturated. Okay, so I have tons of <laughs> colors here. This is almost dry, but um, yeah, really interesting. I do like the way it did what it did because of the texture on this side. This other side's kind of flat, but pretty cool. So I'm gonna put that to the side and probably have to dry it a little bit more before we actually use it. Um, so there are tons of dyes. <laughs> so what I did was I just have, let me put this over here. Uh, a bunch of paper and we don't need hardly the size of any of these like this is just for her little mouth So I'll just get a piece that I can handle. This is for her little Cheeks and to be honest, I don't know what that needs to look like on the die, but that should work still um, I, I was the black for or the black is for the eyes. So again, very small pieces that we need um, I wanted to do her tail with the background being this deeper blue and then the top being like this shimmery blue um Again, this isn't that big either, so I'm just gonna, actually I'll cut it from over here. And then she still has tail parts, and I can see in the little image, the um, idea sheet here, I'm sorry, it's getting hot. They did a little drop shadow with the silver paper, as you can see under her little um, top there and in her little tail, it's really cute. But I'm not gonna do that because I can barely muster enough patience to cut things that are super basic. Um, I need a couple of those but that's for her little body and then I have this paper if you guys remember when I made that spellbinders book that I thought oh this would be cute for hair like just some crazy little hair so I think we're good here her hair is very big so let me make sure I have a piece like ooh, that just does it right there and all these things will go through your marquee I'm probably gonna run them through my um, Empress that's sitting here because that way I can do it all at once like a little quilt like I talk about so I definitely want to do that uh, So I'm gonna turn that that way There are so many pieces So I'm just gonna show you kind of how I'm gonna set it up and then I'm gonna run it through my Empress. So this there um, We need the hands and the body. I think I still need more paper maybe a little body little hands and I'm going to emboss these two because I believe they need to be embossed, um, like the little face parts, to kind of help you with that. Um, tail, this is the underside of the tail, which I'll do with this deeper blue color. But you also want to later use that and run this through it for this top one. But I'll come back and show you that in a minute, I suppose. Um, let me see what else we got here. All kinds of little features here. <laughs> let me see, okay. Yeah, so her face and all that, I'm just going to run each one one time because this has eyes, lips, and makeup or whatever on there. I guess if you're really good, you can really just line it up so that this, the cheeks are here and the mouth is here. But I'll just run them through each time. So I'm going to have obviously multiples of each thing, but I'll use the right color for whatever it is that I want to do. So there's that. And then her tail, I do need a deep blue one. This is the little area that goes over her um, waist right here, I think. Actually, that's interesting. The one they have here is like scalloped. Oh, it's here. Here it is. So then what's this for? Huh, we'll figure it out. This other piece here, maybe it's just an extra, maybe for under the tail, I don't know. Either way, I'm gonna cut all these things out of the blue, the deep blue. And what else can I cut right now? I think that's it for now. She does have a little headband, which is adorable, but Goodness gracious, I don't really feel like putting together a bunch of little tiny things like that. So we will see. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like they did a little flowers here, which is very cute. But I'm going to run these through and I'll be right back. So yeah, once I run those through, um, I guess it was so tight, the pressure, that it came out okay. Like this that doesn't need to be embossed. It just... Let me show you. The little face is right in there and look at that. Perfect. And then same thing with the hair, I think, because I can see on this back side that the hair is pretty... Um, Harry has the lines I would like. See? The embossing. So I'm not going to run them back through, which is great. But what I was saying about the other tail is that we're going to need this back. Uh, I'm telling you, these things, I always put like all the little pieces here. Um, actually, I don't need this anymore. I'll just put this whole thing down. So for this one, where you need the tail. And you need this little guy inside of that. So I'm going to put another piece of tape. That way it cuts out together you can do it separately too just do the outer and then the inner or the inner then the outer however you want to plan that and I will run that through and then we'll have all our pieces to put together all right guys so we're gonna put this together I think off the card first and then we'll bring her to the card and I'm just gonna use my little um, dispenser here again there's tacky glue in there and it's just a fine tip dispenser 
So we have our hair, we have our body. I'm gonna kind of eyeball this and see what I need to be doing. Like that does not look right, right? When you look at it, like her head needs to be further up. I'm assuming probably to her little ears. Let me see what they have here. Yeah, basically her little ears should be lined up right under that. But they also want the arms in here. So what I think I'm gonna do is go ahead and do this. Put a little glue on this backside. I'd rather do this first and then stick the arms down. And my little arms are still stuck here. I'm trying to put the pieces back in the box so I don't end up misplacing any of this. Not too bad. Let's see here. Okay. And I'm just gonna put a little glue and then stick them back here, but I wanna see how her hands are. Are her thumbs supposed to be up? Yeah, no. <laughs> so a little thumbs down like this. I'm gonna get a little bit closer just to help out, but I think where I was is probably just okay. All right, so I'm just gonna put a little glue at the very top of her little arm and just kind of slide it back in there. And I guess they could be wherever you like. Like here she's holding a little sign that says Mermazing, but I didn't look that far ahead, so I'm not gonna <laughs> uh, plan that. But if you want her to hold something, obviously you have to have her little hands in the exact right spot for that to work. I'm just putting her little arms in. That's good. And then I'm going to put a little glue behind her body, which you probably don't have to, but I wanna just hold that down. So cute. So she's kind of floating. All right, now what do I need? I need my, this thing, just in case. And then this guy, pretty much everything just popped right out. So we'll layer these guys up. And again, I'm just gonna put glue wherever I can around the edges, basically. And I'm gonna look at the chipboard and see, or the, not chipboard, the, um, die cuts and see if there's something that would go along with this. Otherwise it'll just be her and then that pretty background we made for her. And I suppose you can put it here. I'm trying to see about this other piece. Where is it? This. I can hear my kids and ask them to be nice and quiet. <laughs> That's so cute, my goodness. Okay, let me bring her up a little bit further. So again, I don't know if you can move her more. I guess you could do this kind of thing and she still looks pretty adorable. You know what, maybe I'll do that just to give her a little, a little sideways. A little movement. And and like I said, they did this drop shadow in the silver, which is really cute. I'm just going to put this here. Ooh, it's getting hot in here. You know, I realized I think it's these lights. And they're alt lights, and they should be cool, but if you really put your hand up to them, they're really warm. And I'm like, ooh, maybe having the two alt lights is uh, overwhelming in here. And I hate to put a fan on because I feel like the fan's going to blow things around. So I don't know what to do. Um, okay. And then they have that in the back. I still don't know what this is, but I'm assuming if you cut it out, it probably shadows behind here. You know, you can put it behind the tail. I'm not going to use it. <laughs> um, yeah, so they did do the silver with that. So that's what it's for. Really cute. All right. And one last little thing. I'm just going to do that. Well, I guess not one last thing. One last thing for her body. We got to put her face on. All right, face. Now, this is the thing that's... Actually, it's kind of cute because Sherry has a face, but... So I suppose that helps you place stuff. I'm just putting a little... That. I don't know if this is ready. Um, I need a mouth, which I did in dark red. <laughs> that is really cute. The little mouth. Um, sorry, I'm going to put my head in here. The little mouth even has, like, a little feature to do a little line in there. Like, so her mouth looks like it's, uh parted but at least it has some detail and let's see about this 
Remember the Cricut when it used to be like it would cut out holes and you would just put something black behind it so then you can see everything through? That was always nice. But we always want more detail, right? It's never enough. All right, let's see here. I'm just trying to see where this eye should go. Again, they have a space for you there. Cause it's, this is the part when you put something down like this on a little character and if you don't put it in the right spot, they look crazy. <laughs> so I'm just trying to see. That's pretty cute. So it's nice that they have that little divot in there. And then the cheeks do not have an area. So, you know, you can do cheeks, leave it out, put them in. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and put them in, but I feel funny about it. But they're like here. And my little pink cheeks again. When I picked out these colors, I'm like, her mom never taught her how to do her makeup. Obviously, as you can see, <laughs> as you can see here, this poor girl. But I just like the little crazy colors. I think that's really cute. So again, cheeks, no cheeks, whatever. Um, and then, you know what I'm going to do is grab my... Sorry, so what I was going to do is just grab my um, Arteza acrylic markers and just put a little dot in her eye. They did it right down here. I don't know. It's not necessary, but that's actually really cute. It kind of adds a lot to it, doesn't it? Oh, her top. <laughs> Ooh, what happened? Uh, where'd it go? It should be here somewhere. Oh, no. You know what? That's okay, because I didn't really want to go with the blue anyway, because the top cut out of the same blue paper. So what I do is make her a shiny top, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got her little top here, and we're just going to stick that down. And um, again, you can do the little drop shadow or obviously any color you like. That's so funny. I was like, oh, okay, we're done. Oh, wait. <laughs> My girl is naked. All right, let me see here. They have it kind of all the way up here. I guess you can put it wherever you like. Okay. I mean, drawing a little belly button, huh? Okay, so this is not still quite dry yet, but I'm going to go ahead and forage on. And oh, I told you guys the other day when I made this card that um, I always like to use a wet glue on something that has a lot of texture like this because look, it's already coming up. I use the dry glue uh, adhesive on it just to do it real quickly so we can move on. But yeah, you always want to use like a wet glue and that's pretty much why. So like with this one too, um, I want to get it stuck down, but I would normally use a wet glue just because it has a little wonkiness. Some people say run it through your Gemini Junior, your Empress, just to kind of flatten it out and that helps too. But again, normally what helps with this is to let it dry completely. But I am going to go ahead and stick mine down to this, and then we'll use a white card base that the kit comes with. But for now, hmm, let me think. Do I like it? This way. I can't believe there's so much traffic. People are crazy. <laughs> Stay inside. All right, let's see here. Again, get it down really, really nicely, and when it's dry. And so I have her, she's super cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she is so adorable. I <laughs> that's so cute. Um, you know, I popped out these little guys for her. I don't know if I even want to use them, let's see. I just did in the same blue, some little bubbles, right? And I don't know, let me see. I might use them, if I use them, I'll just glue them down in a little bit, because again, this paper's still kind of wet. Um, and then I have some of the little shells that cut out in that one feature, but like, I did cut out the little extra shell here. Oopsie. Where do I pop this out from? Okay. <laughs> uh, looks like all these are to help pop out the little pieces, but how do I get the shell itself? I'll just, I'm going to stab it. There we go. I think obviously the tape that I have on there doesn't help because it's really holding on. Okay, this little guy, he can come on over this one. So it's really cute. I just don't know if it's just too much blue, you know, for what I have going on here. Um, but let's look in here and see if we're going to put something else from the set. I was looking at the stamps. I got, you know, different things. I mean, she pretty much takes up the whole card, the standard A2 size card. So I don't know. If there's something in here that looks cute, we will, we will find it. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna put this to the side because there's a lot of small things in here too. I really do like their die cut pieces. I'm, I'm not really a die cut girl, but like this kind of thing. Obviously I make my die cuts, but they have a lot of cute stuff. Look at the little mermaids, there's a couple of them. So again, you can make a quick card just with these things. Fabulous. It's cute, but it's way too big for this one. 
Unless I orient her another way. Unless I could do the card like this way. Right? And have more room across the other way. We'll see. Um, this kind of stuff is really cute to maybe put in the background. Again, you can cut this with your own paper. They came, it came with um, little dies like this. Oh my gosh. Yes, we're going to use some of this, I think. And maybe... Oh, this one's nice and long. Yeah, that's too much. That one's too long. Is there another one? Like this one? Okay, we're going to use those three. You are born to shimmer. That's really cute. Look at the sunglasses. Splish, oh, splash squad. That's adorable. I don't know what that means. <laughs> splash squad. Here you go. It's really cute, though. Ciso sends sunshine, sunshine vibes. No bad days. What do we got? Hashtag smart girls. Hashtag mermaid hair. That's really cute, but doesn't really make sense. Uh, maybe this one is the best one. Okay, I'll put Splash Squad on here. But let me pop out these little pieces because there's little pieces that need to be coming out. Hope you can see that. And then I'll clean all this up and we'll put our card all together. Right. We're getting there, guys. Let me go ahead, nope. So let me go ahead and stick this on the card base. I'm not gonna do it yet, because I need to go find, I, what happens is I take things out, I put them here and there, and they're on the floor, and I don't wanna go get them. So, <laughs> I have my splash squad, I have those little dots, and I think, I think we're gonna keep it all. I think we're gonna pop her up a little bit higher though, so let me, I kinda wanna just leave it straight like this, so let's bring her down more. And I'll put the bubbles, I guess more where it looks like, where you can see them. But still kind of just sticking out here and there. They don't have to be perfectly wherever. And then as I was putting the things away, I found this cute little um, fish that matches the, kind of the color scheme I went with. So I am definitely going to use him. And these things are kind of like the kiss cut feature that the local king stamps have in them where um, I really had to push them out, the little bits, because I wanted it like this. But again, if you wanted a solid piece, then you don't have to pop out the pieces, right? But I want it to be more delicate, so... I just wanted to put it here. Let's not cover up all of the little guys. So it's there. I'm going to push the, him over there. And where's the other one? Did I totally cover him? Yep. <laughs> so I'm just going to move around the bubbles. So you have a better idea that there's actually bubbles there. Let's hold that down. And then down here in this area, again, we have our little pieces. And I guess I'm going to use them also. I got some work to do here. And I'm just going to 3D glue gel. You can actually, maybe I should, hmm. I'm going to stick this down real quick. And this little fish, look at him. And he matches so well. I thought that was so cute. So I'm going to put these pieces to the side now. Put this stuff here and there. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my goodness, I love it. Something like that. And for this, I'm only going to run glue down that center piece. And that way, if the other things move or they... Or you can manipulate them so that they pop up a little more. I think that is so cute. So it definitely takes a little work. You guys know I'm not the best or um, doing like little paper piecing projects. <laughs> but um, this one's really cute. And here we go. So if you're enjoying your kit, I know a lot of you guys did pick it up like I had mentioned because you guys let me know and had some requests of going ahead and doing the review on this and that's why I'm doing it. And let me stick this one down because he's kind of flat anyway. Just gonna put a little glue there. And then the rest I'm gonna 3D glue gel. Okay. And along with the links there, the affiliate links, um, I always have links to basic stuff but of course you can source it out wherever you want to source it but I get questions about it a lot so I have it there and again you know get it wherever you like uh let's see here I'm trying to get that plug out of the way Ugh. you know what's funny about this it says low odor in the description I think I remember seeing that I'm like uh okay do these people not have nostrils <laughs> you can smell this I mean it's not low odor in my opinion at all but I don't know where to put these hold on where's she gonna go I wanted the little fishy to kind of be in, you know what I'm saying? Like in here somewhere. Let's put her down first. 
And I'm just putting big glops of this stuff. Oh my goodness, how cute. Okay. Where can my fishy go? I kind of need him down here, I think. Which is weird. Mm. This is part of my problems, people. I don't know where to put this stuff. Maybe this one goes there. Yeah, they can pile up a little bit. Kind of random, but that's cute. Let me see how that, I think that looks. It's because we're just so used to like wanting to cover up that little area, that little root area where they're coming from. So it's hard for me to not have something there. Eh. That's fine. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it, guys. So I'm going to stick this down to the white card base that the kit comes with. Um, hopefully, you know, you got a little something. It's pretty basic. I mean, I did do a little something more artsy in the back there, but uh, really cute, really fun. And thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe, and I will see you guys at the next one. Bye now.